Jared, come back. Are there any spirits here? <laughs> oh my God, what the f*** was that? Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in to Amy's Crypt. I'm currently on my way to one of the most mysterious and haunted places in all of Romania that is known as the Witch's Pond. I'm going to take you there, tell you a bit about its uh, backstories, its mysterious legends. I'll show you the Witch's Pond location and how to find it for yourself. Probably hang around till dark and do a little paranormal investigation. So yeah, if you guys aren't subscribed yet, make sure to hit subscribe now. This is my first video all October long. I am going to be checking out the most haunted places in all of Romania. So let's go check out the first one. So the forest I'm in is getting a lot more dense now. Uh, I just had to get changed because we were getting eaten alive by mozzies or mosquitoes um, they are literally everywhere um, but yeah things are starting to look a little bit more spooky now and I'm not a hundred percent sure where the lake is I'm also kind of racing against the Sun to find it before it goes down and not get lost in this forest uh, so I'll update you in a little bit and see how we go. Just heard a noise out in the woods, hoping there's... It's like a tree snapping. Yeah. Witches. I hope they I hope they don't have bears and stuff out here. Yeah, this is, this is definitely it. Cool. Okay. That is... So just behind me is the witch's pond. Um, it's actually quite small, so uh, if you can see it, it's only a few meters by a few meters wide. Um, it doesn't look very deep, but I know a lot of the legends say that there is no bottom to the lake. Um, I'm gonna have a look around uh, and check it out. It's very interesting, very still. Um, it's kind of weird that it's just here. So the Witch's Pond is just outside of Bucharest, which is the capital city of Romania. It is a very mysterious and strange place. There is no source or spring for an explanation why there is water there. Another strange um, and interesting thing about the pond is that animals refuse to live in it and they refuse to drink from it. So it's said that animals in the area would rather die of thirst than drink water from the witch's pond. So how the witch's pond actually gets its name is because it is a pilgrimage for many Romanian witches as well as witches from all around the world to come and visit. There's certain days of the year where they will gather and perform rituals at the witch's pond and it is said that any spell cast in the vicinity of that pond will come true. Now the water is also thought to have some kind of magical um, or special properties. So supposedly back in the day, women who became pregnant and didn't want to carry the baby to term would gather here and enter the water of the witch's pond. And for whatever reason, their pregnancy would become terminated. So there's definitely something strange going on in this area. Uh, we have found what looks like the remnants of a fire 
so who knows maybe that was part of a witch ritual uh, we do not know it's pretty cool that it's right here right next to the lake It's said that the spring will never dry up, but there's a lot of other paranormal activity that happens in this area. It's said that screams will echo throughout the whole forest and strange light anomalies will present themselves at night around the witch's pond. So pretty lucky to be here and see something like this. Another really interesting piece of folklore that is connected to the witch's pond is that many people believe that Vlad Tepesh, better known as Vlad the Impaler or the inspiration for Bram Stoker's Dracula, was actually beheaded here, right beside the witch's pond. Now many people still think that his spirit roams the area and this is quite interesting because you're going to see a lot of Dracula theme on my channel all throughout October. I'm going to be visiting a lot of cool places with ties to Vlad the Impaler. So if you ever find yourself in Bucharest and you want to come and check out the Witch's Pond for yourself, I'll give you a little bit of info on how to find its location and get here. What is that? Yeah. What is that? Yeah. What is that? Yeah. What is that? I think there's something in the tree. It's okay. Anyway. Alright, take two. I'll give you a little bit of information on how to get here. I'll put the geolocation coordinates uh, in a link below so you can find them yourself. But essentially I got dropped off on a freeway which is very dangerous. It was pretty sketchy. I had to walk to the entrance of a pathway which if you can get dropped off at the entrance that is ideal. It looks like this. You follow it for what like 400 meters. Um, it's really not that far up. Uh, you'll cross a couple of intersecting pathways, just keep going straight and you're going to find the lake on your left hand side. It's pretty small but it's easy to spot. Alright, so I'm going to talk for a little bit near the lake and Jared's on mosquito duty. So if any land on me, he's going to not slap me but brush them off. <laughs> um, So I think that we've debunked one of the myths about the uh, witch's pond here and that is that no living animals ever enter the lake. So we've definitely seen uh, frogs and that coming in and out. So, and I mean if mosquitoes count as well, they're definitely living in and around. <laughs> they're definitely living in and around the lake. So, or the pond. It is a pond because it's quite small. But it's so green, like... All the algae growing on it. It does look spooky and mystical, I give it that. Um, but yeah, while we're waiting for it to get darker, I mean, we're almost there. Uh, maybe we try a, ooh, oh my gosh, get off my hand. Uh, maybe we try a few experiments here. All right guys, it's not fully dark yet, but it's getting there, it's getting quite late. And unfortunately, the, these mosquitoes are out of control. Like, I'm literally swatting them off and getting bitten, actually bitten every five seconds. Um, I also have no mosquito, uh, no mosquito repellent at all, so they're all just like swarming me. Um, I'm going to try a spirit box session before I go, though. I can't leave without doing one. Um, Unfortunately, I do not speak Romanian. I have a Google Translate on my phone, but it's offline. So, I mean, I have no idea how to read or pronounce any of the words. So I think I'm just going to, I know it's really lame, but I'm going to do it in English and see if we get any responses or maybe something comes through that I can try and translate uh, later. Hi, my name is Amy. Are there any spirits around that can communicate with me? Are there any witches here? Can you tell me your name?
Vlad, are you here? Vlad Dracul. Did you die here? Vlad Sepesh. Can you talk to me? Anybody, can you say anything to me? Oh, I can't do this anymore. Okay. Uh. Jared, come back. <laughs> I can't do it anymore. Let's go. Are you being a baby? No. It's fing a million mozzies. Let's go. Cod this. I'm done. All of my legs. <laughs> Alright, that's what we have to do in between takes. <laughs> okay guys, so I come all the way to Romania to see the witch's pond and... Okay, Jared's walking off now because he's not happy with me. But we're going to hang out until it is dark. I'll try a few more uh, paranormal investigation experiments, maybe EVP spirit box again. And yeah, hopefully I can capture light anomalies. Uh, large round orbs of light is uh, usually what is seen around the pond. So really, really hoping uh, this is worth the extra 500 mosquito bites. Um, we're just waiting. I mean, it's getting dark quite quick or maybe it's just because we're in the forest. It, it feels like it's much darker than it is. Um, it's definitely getting creepier and I'm starting to hear lots of noises around me. Um, I'm not sure if they're animals, um, haven't really seen any yet, but I'm definitely hearing things. Um, and I really, really want to see light anomalies. That's something that I really want to see at this pond that is uh, supposed to be quite uh, a common thing. So. Okay, so we're going to walk up and get a little bit closer to the pond. We're kind of avoiding it at the moment because all the mosquitoes seem to be hanging around that body of water. Um, and I forgot to... Is that an animal? Where? A squirrel? That little black thing? Yeah, can you see its outline? You won't be able to see it on camera, it's too dark. How can my eyes see that? I think it's just a rock actually, or oh, really? something. Oh, it's not moving. One thing that I forgot to mention earlier is uh, dramatic weather differences in the area that people have reported. So it's said around the witch's pond that sudden storms will appear just above the pond, nowhere else. And it's even been reported that sudden snow will occur just above the pond nowhere else so again that's another really spooky strange thing about the witch's pond that makes this place so notorious and so interesting to me back uh, to the pond I'm getting as close to the water as I can I'm going to do another spirit box again apologies I cannot speak Romanian so uh, it's just gonna be English I think that's just a, a plane flying overhead um, but yeah let's give this another crack Ooh. hello are there any spirits around that can talk to me Vlad Sepesh are you here? Is this where you died? Can you tell me your name? Dracul, are you here? Yes. 
Are there any witches here? Can you say anything to me? Are there any spirits here? Alright, so I'm getting, I've heard some voices come through. It could be interference from a radio station. Uh, it sounds as though it is Romanian and I have no idea what they may be saying. But we might take a quick little walk around uh, the pond before we leave. I mean, this light shining on me, bugs are attracted to light, right? So they're just going to be swarming me right now. <laughs> back it's very dark and very creepy yeah this forest feels a lot creepier at night without all the light it's very cool thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed this video it was probably one of the most unpleasant ones that i've had to make just because of the mosquitoes so if you did like it please remember to give it a thumbs up leave me a comment and hit subscribe. I have plenty more content coming all through October from Very Spooky Romania for you. Remember, you can find a bit more info at amyscrypt.com. But remember guys, until next time, stay spooky.